the line where the first two planes intersect is the line of all points that satisfy both of these equations. So we need to find all the points that simultaneously satisfy both of these equations. And how do you do that? You write it as an appended system. You transform it into row echelon form. That then allows you to identify one free variable and two dependent variables. And then you would like to find a specific solution. But actually, we don't need to do any computations to find the specific solution because we know that the point that satisfies all three equations also satisfies both of these equations. And therefore, we know that that is a specific solution to the problem. So all we really need to do is find one vector in the null space, one vector that maps to zero. And we find that vector by setting the free variable equal to one and solving for the dependent variables. If you plug this in, you get these two equations and two unknowns, and you can then solve for chi zero and chi one, and you get this vector. Here we then plot part of the line of all solutions. Now let, let's rotate this a little bit and see what we can say. What I did here was I, I said, look, I know a specific solution that is at the point where all of these planes intersect. And then I know that that specific solution plus a multiple of this vector that maps to zero defines all the points that satisfy the two equations and that therefore are on the intersection of the two planes. So what I did was is I picked a point here at the end that was the specific solution plus this vector that mapped to zero and the specific solution minus the vector that mapped to zero. And by then drawing the line in between as a dashed line, I highlight where the two planes intersect. And if we move along, every once in a while you can see that it's the intersection of the red plane and the green plane.